the sanctity of life and the protection of the embryo is not the only values. Those who suffer from incurable diseases, they also have uh, interests that need to be looked after. And there is a moral obligation to cure diseases, to relieve suffering and to restore health. I have Parkinson's disease and that may one day be treatable by the applications of stem cell research. And I think that the broader issue is about getting society into a better, more healthy perspective, um, allowing people to live their full lives in their families with the benefit of good medicine, wherever that may come from. Everything changes when somebody has one of these disorders. It's not just the patient that is suffering, but the whole family gets drawn into the problem as well. And I think it's incumbent upon us to try and find a solution that benefits the patient and the wider family as well. If uh, we considered the suffering of people who, who uh, have diabetes, Parkinson, Alzheimer, and a few other uh, yet so far incurable diseases, then uh, especially diabetes is a large group. These are diseases that, that almost everybody knows somebody who, who suffers from that. So there is a big potential to actually cure disease that's never been curable in, in, uh, in the past. We can't ever uh, find something that, that can counterbalance the direct killing uh, of a life. And when we destroy uh, an, embry an embryo, to get embryonic stem cells, that's exactly what we do. So, so there's, that, that is an absolute, we must protect all life. I know from my own experience of becoming disabled that it's very easy to look at a situation through one set of spectacles, then when you're given another set of spectacles to wear, seeing the whole thing completely differently. We would pay a price of working on some human embryos, but the benefit would come back in the treatment of society itself. But there's always a cost. And whatever scientists want to do, I think it's much easier if we accept there is a cost and get on with it in a carefully regulated context.